This is the NSCAA-TV September 29th presentation of the 2014 Men's College Soccer Review. And it comes to you right now and right here on NSCAA-TV. And we are in the wonderland that can only be described as High Point University. It's utopia. This place is incredible. And guess what? They play pretty good soccer right here in High Point, North Carolina as well. As tonight on NSCA TV, it's High Point and it's UNC Asheville. Hello, buddy. I'm Dean Linky. Delighted to be the voice of the NSCAA and delighted to be in High Point, North Carolina. To be fair, I love this university. It is super impressive, and you will indeed be impressed by Dustin Fonder and this fine team. Got a big show today. Let's take a look at what's on tap. Keith Tabatsnik, my longtime broadcast partner, will join us as well as the head coach of High Point, Dustin Fonder, and their all-time leading goal scorer, Mamadi Nipon, will join us right here in the booth. Then we'll break down the NSCA Continental Tire Top 25 with Dustin Fonder, but we're not done there. We'll take a look at D2, D3, NAIA, and Junior College. That and more right here on NSCAA TV. And of course, we couldn't do it without the former Georgetown coach, Keith Tabatsnik, who joins me now. And Keith, I was here a couple years ago. I was blown <laughs> away by this place. I love it. It's impressive. Well, I think you're the czar of PR <laughs> for High Point University, Dean, actually. But you have a right to be. What an awesome place to be. Dustin Fonder, now in his eighth season's done a real nice job. Yeah, he has, actually. You know, the, you know, 500 or better season the whole time he's been here. Big 10 South champions in 2010 and by the way that year undefeated as well that year they're trying to get back into that sort of rhythm struggling a little bit to find themselves right but they feels good about his team and hopefully tonight will kick off a good conference win for them we'll get back to Dustin Fonder so exciting right now division one men's college soccer nobody can stay undefeated well I'll tell you one thing you know you can't stay undefeated you can't stay number one either but there are six teams without a loss right now okay you have three of them in the top 25 Penn State you have Cal Irvine and you have George Mason. You have three teams not yet in the top 25. They may be Cal Davis, all right? You have Davidson and you also have Air Force. Now, Davidson, the big upset win over UVA. Upsets, Dean, don't be number one anymore, guys, okay? <laughs> because you just get upset, okay? It's San Diego. Four and a half thousand people, a record crowd, see them upset UCLA one nothing this week. Just stay number two. You'll be okay for a while. Here's the great thing about NSCA TV. Three of those undefeated teams we'll see coming up on NSCA TV. We'll have, da we'll have Davidson at Duke. We'll have Virginia and George Mason. And we'll have Penn State and Buck now on Wednesday night. Yeah, it's exciting to have all those there. And, and I'll tell you what, just keep watching because you'll probably see a new number one team on TV here with us. All right. What else do you want to talk about as it relates to Division One men's college soccer? Well, I think now's the time where all the conferences start playing, you know, and everyone's been kind of preparing for this. So those teams that have been on a roll, every game stays important. The conference games, you know, make them even more. But one of the great things about being in a conference, if you have been struggling, it's a new life. It's a new, new season for you. If you look at the Big South Conference, there's nine teams, eight teams get in. All right, every team right now, you know, basically starting all over. So everyone's hoping to, to get the upper hand, get the first win and go, and that's all over the country. All right, Keith, we talked about him a little bit ago. Let's take a look at the credentials of Dustin Fonder. Now in his eighth season here at High Point, he's done a fantastic job as you look at it there. The 2009 and 2010 Big South Conference winner, and of course they won the 2010 Big South regular season championship, and he's also been the Big South Coach of the Year. And here he is, Dustin Fonder. And Dustin, first off, as I told Keith, what an incredible university. I mean, it's got to be great to come to work every day. Yeah, it's a wonderful place to work. And uh, we just keep, just keeps getting better as they keep building new buildings and, and <laughs> making it a nicer place to recruit to. And we feel like our recruiting has gone nationwide now with, with this wonderful university. Now, you're down on the field, but I'm telling you, you've given us a great place to call a game up here. This place is amazing, the broadcast center up here. Yeah, the Witcher Athletic Center just uh, was open last week, and we're moving in. We're, we're actually dressing in the locker room for the first time tonight. So it's exciting times, and we're excited to have this wonderful facility. What kind of team do you have this year, Coach? We've got a really uh, talented group, and it's, it's our job as coaches to put the pieces together and make them a good team. Right now we've got a lot of good individual talent, and we're just week to week trying to get better until we become the team that we think we can be. You start Big South play. Now's your chance to talk about the Big South. How good a conference is it? 
the Big South is a very good conference in men's soccer. I mean, Coastal Carolina right now is probably the team to beat. They've uh, won the conference the last few years, and they've gone far in the NCAA tournament. But top to bottom, there's a lot of depth in the conference. I mean, Winthrop, Liberty, Radford, the list goes on and on. There's a lot of good teams in this league, and, and we want to uh, take our shot at all of them. Now, Coach, I know you watch this show, and you know we talk about not just Division One, but D2, D3. You had such a great time at Roanoke. Talk about D3 college soccer and what it's meant to you. Uh, you know, I think D3 is, is a really uh, cool level of college soccer. It's a little different priority. It's not quite as year-round as Division I, um, but there's some really talented players, some really good coaches, some really good teams. I enjoyed my time you know, both playing at Roanoke and coaching there. I thought it was a wonderful uh, springboard to get me to where I am today. All right, good stuff. Can I put you to work now? Yeah, no problem. All right, let's take a look now at the NSCAA Continental Tire Top 10. That's going to change as UCLA lost to San Diego. You heard Keith the Batsnick talk about it. Incredible depth this year in Division One. Yeah, the depth of Division One men's soccer is probably at an all-time high, and the, and the parity and week to week, you just keep seeing teams get knocked off. I mean, last night, North Carolina went into uh, – into Notre, Notre Dame, Dame and, and lost, but if you look at the statistics, they, you know, they outplayed them statistically. So it's just anybody can win on any given night, and I think that top 20 is going to continue to change from week to week. Penn State smiling, Bob Warming, they're undefeated. The Big Ten getting some representation. Yeah, Penn State, uh, Bob Warming's done a great job with that program and kind of revitalized it, and it's, uh, they're off to a great start this year. Finally, Louisville at number nine. We saw them play Duke. They beat him five to nothing. I'll tell you, they've got a place almost better than yours in Louisville. It's pretty nice. Yeah, we've, I've only seen it on, uh, on video, but it looks really impressive, and they got a great team there. All right, let's take a look here at 11 through 20 now as we roll on with the NSCA Continental Tire Top 20. Georgetown, Creighton, Marquette. Talk about some of the teams in the 11 through 20, Coach. Just, just a, a very good collection of teams. I mean, like I said, I think week to week those teams are going to shuffle up and down the top 20, but most of them are perennial powers and, and should stay in the top 20 throughout the year. All right, we got to do it because Keith's still in the booth. American at number 14. Pretty impressive. I mean, but you look, there's still uh, four, three spots behind Georgetown, his, uh, his, the place he coached and, and put on the map. Joseph Arancio, your fine SID as well, also American alum, and he does a great job for sure as you take a look at it. Stanford and George Mason. We'll see George Mason on NSCAA TV. What about the job Greg Andrulis has done? Tremendous. I think he's just got a great program there, and they're still undefeated to this point, so uh, I think they're set for a really good season. All right, let's take a look here at 21 through 25 as we roll on as part of the NSCAA Continental Tire Top 25. UNC Charlotte just down the road. Yeah, our neighbor's right down the road, UNC. Charlotte, excellent program. Kevin Lanigan's doing a great job. They're off to a, a great start. Beat New Mexico last night 2-0, so uh, they're flying. Of course, Furman at 22, you know a little bit about that team too. Furman as well. You know, we uh, I, I used to work at Elon, so Furman was a conference rival, but uh, we still play them every spring, and, and uh, they do a great job with their program and expect big things out of them. All right, your top 25, of course, is sponsored by the good folks at Continental Tire. I want to thank Travis Roffler and everybody in Fort Mills, South Carolina. Continental Tire, the proud presenting sponsor of the NSCAA College Soccer Game of the Week right here on NSCAA TV as we bring back in Dustin Fonder. And, Dustin, you've got a special player up top, Mamadi Nipon, now your all-time goal-scoring leader. Yeah, Mamadi is the type of player that makes you look like a good coach. I mean, he, he's an excellent goal scorer, but he's even a better person and teammate. All right, let's take a look at the credentials of the big man, Mamadi Nipon. He is the High Points Division I goals leader. He just needs one more goal to become the all-time points leader, and he's five goals short of the all-time record. As remember, this they've only been Division I for a few years here now at High Point University, and here he is. He's going to be scoring goals a little later on NSCA TV, but Mamadi Nipon is here, and Mamadi, we talked earlier about the ice cream for one, but how great is High Point University? It's a beautiful campus. It's like a, a family environment, so I really like being here. Now, you grew up in Greensboro at least the last 10 years since coming over from Africa. So w talk about your decision to come to High Point. Who did it come down to? It came down to High Point, number one, my number one choice, and Elon. But High Point was a, a, a really good family environment, and I'm glad I picked them. Now, not only are you getting it done on the field, but also in the classroom. Talk about the academics here. Um, it's really good. Um, I like the classroom size and the teacher and the professors. You get really one-on-one -on -one, uh, contact with them, and they're very personal with you, so that's really good. Now, Dustin, here's the key, too, with Mamadi. You've added a couple players from Africa as well. Talk about what it's been like having Mamadi help these young freshmen from Africa. I think it's been good having Mamadi here as a senior leader to help some of our young freshmen get acclimated. It's a big enough jump coming from a foreign country. When you have someone you know you can look up to in Mamadi, it makes it easier on those guys. Now, Mamadi is a senior. How much are you going to miss this young man? 
tremendously. <laughs> yeah. he, he's, he's been you know, our go-to guy for the last three years for goals, and we're going to go to him again tonight, hopefully, and, and keep going to him all season. Mamadi, your future plans when you're done here wearing the purple and white? Hopefully go to the next level. That's what all college players uh, play this game for, the next level, so yeah. Now, you were on the field a couple years ago when we came here. The weather didn't turn out so great. It was raining, but you guys were impressive. I don't know if you remember that game on Fox Soccer. Yeah, it was my freshman year. Uh, it was it was nerve-wracking, uh, <laughs> my first TV game, but um, we fought hard and got the win, I remember. So. All right, Mamadi, score a couple goals tonight, okay? Well, thank you. All right, Mamadi Nipon, Dustin Fonder, getting it done for High Point University, enjoying it here. We are in High Point, North Carolina, as the NSCAA Men's College Soccer v Review rolls on right here on NSCAA TV. The NSCAA convention to me is probably the best place to get any sort of education of a wide variety that you can go in the world. Oh, I'm excited. I am. I'm ready to go on. Super excited. Pretty excited. Oh, super excited, yes. Now I'm excited to just, just be a part of it and experience it all, take it all in. You watch the match live. You road trip to the away games. You rise and fall with every run. Above all, you live your love of the game. Whatever you do, get there with Continental Tires and improve your grip with extreme contact traction. Continental Tire, for what you do. Back to High Point, North Carolina as the NSCAA College Soccer Men's Review Show rolls on right here on NSCAA TV. Beautiful night for soccer and indeed a beautiful campus. Incredible the job they've done here at High Point as we welcome back Keith Tabatson. Keith, I know you enjoyed the love for American and Georgetown from Dustin Fonder. Well, I enjoy, I enjoy even more the fact that they can get the love this year. <laughs> you know, I mean, all, both of them, uh, you know, in the top 20 and, and doing very well. So good luck to... Todd West and Brian Weiss and those teams as they move on. Nice having Dustin here. Mamadi Nipon, impressive young man. Well, I'll tell you what, he's an impressive young man. He's an impressive soccer player as well. And this guy does score goals. I mean, he, these are not by accident that he's getting. It's not like he has, you know, a dozen penalty kicks, although he does take their penalty kicks. But I've seen him score left foot, seen him score in the air as well, powerful in the air. And, I mean, he, he's going to be a, just a tough mark for any team that plays him. He's a guy that can you know, really lead them uh, well into this Big South Conference. Well, Dustin Fonder set the table just fine, talking about his time at Roanoke. Let's go now and take a look at the rest of college soccer, starting with D2 men. Mark Hubbard and Southern New Hampshire, they're still number one and undefeated, your reigning champs. Saginaw Valley State's number two, and Southern Connecticut State, Ray Reed, is now up at number seven. Former Ray, you know, Ray Reed used to be there, as you know. Yeah, well, not only was he there, but five times in the 90s, they won the national title, all right? And it's Tommy Lang trying to get them back to their vet number seven. Good luck, Tommy. Let's try to get Southern Connecticut a title in the 2000s. And what are we, 14s now? <laughs> all right, let's take a look at D3 men. As the show rolls on, Messiah and Kenyon, 1 and 2, 15 and 0 overall as we're filming this show. Brandeis, Luther, St. Norbert, they're also undefeated, and Ohio Wesleyan moving up. Yeah, and Ohio Wesleyan, we got to just talk about the legend, Jay Martin, okay? Because not only is just continuing doing well, his team's in the top 20, but, you know, he's closing down on, on history. You know, he, he's already the winningest coach in NCAA history. He's closing down on 650 wins. Hope to get them this year. Congratulations, Jay. Keep it going. NCAA and SCA legend as well. Indeed. Does a great job with the Soccer Journal. Junior College Division I men. Jordan Carver's Iowa Western team. They're still number one. Yavapai. I always mention Roger Espinoza, who played for Ohio State, now over in England. They're doing great. And the Community College of Baltimore County, Essex, is 9-0. Well, I won't say that it's been a long time since they've done well, the Essex Community College. But I'll tell you, back when they did do great many, many years, years ago, the coach was Pete Caringi of UMBC. So uh, UM, uh, Essex almost said UMBC. I kind of put them together doing well. Shout out to this past week's Player of the Week from Phoenix, Yavin Cruz. Congratulations. All right, Division Three at the junior college level. Your reigning champs, Herkimer County, still number one. Taft College, number four at 8-0. and o. Camden and De Anza are still unbeaten. Well, it was a pretty easy uh, player of the week for Division Three uh, junior college at Herkimer. I was going to say that almost every week. Ben Polk, a five-goal game for them, and he was the player. But I just have to do a shout-out. 
T.J. Connolly became an interim head coach right, of Nova Community College in Virginia right, only a few weeks ago. They were something like 0-6 at the time. They became 0-8, but they go to play a team that's 8-0, Potomac State in West Virginia. What do you think is going to happen, Dean? Not what happened. one nothing upset win for Nova. Congratulations, T.J., on your first collegiate win. Good nugget. And, of course, Keith DeBassin gets paid by the shout-out <laughs> as we take a look here at NAIA Men. Lindsey Wilson, the new number one. They're always very good. Thomas from Georgia. They jump from 13 to 2. Davenport jumps from 21 to 3. And your reigning champs, Martin Methodist, now at number 4. And that is all for NAIA. Is we welcome you back in here, Dean Linky, along with Keith the Batsik. And Keith, as we are about, you know, a little over halfway through or right about at that halfway mark with conference play starting, what are you looking for the rest of the way? Well, I, just, I think right now we're seeing some of the teams really establish themselves. You know, mind you, some of the teams that are establishing themselves are in the top conferences as well. So now they fight, you know, two things. Because there's a saying I always had at, at Georgetown, there was never an easy conference game. You could be at the top playing the bottom. It just wasn't easy. So I think now it's going to be exciting seeing those battles. There's a few non-conference rivalries, a couple that we'll have, you know, on NSA TV as well. But this is what it is. To me, conference is what it's all about. It gives everybody that chance. And, and I'm just really excited to, to see that as it's kicking off right now. Well, you mentioned some games coming up on NSCAA TV. I can't wait for Wednesday night. Brendan Nash love going to Lewisburg for Bucknell and smiling Bob Warming in Penn State. Yeah, well, Bob's doing, doing a great job there, you know, a few years in as the head coach. And, of course, Bucknell, another fantastic facility that we've done games at before. So I want to see this team, seven, you know, 7-0-1 oh, right now and just on a roll, you know, uh, with, the, with the Big Ten Conference. You got George Mason and Virginia, UConn and Tulsa, Ray Reed against Tom McIntosh, John Kerr against Davidson, and Davidson is legit. And then Akron and West Virginia, that's your men broadcast here on NSCA TV. A couple women's games left, West Virginia and Texas Tech, Tommy Stone. They finally lost a game as the women's teams are starting to fall. Nobody remaining undefeated over there as well. And then you got Ohio U and Miami, little Ohio Derby right here on NSCA TV. And we don't just bring you D1 games. We got D2 games, D3, and NAI games. You can check them all out by going to the schedule on NSCAA TV. So many people to thank here for getting it done once again, starting with Continental Tire, the presenting sponsor of the NSCAA Game of the Week and NSCAA TV's Men's College Soccer Review. I want to thank Joe Cummings, Christian Hermesh, and all the great folks in Kansas City. Kyle Lang directing and everybody as well on the production crew. Of course, my broadcast partner, Keith Tabatsik. Definitely want to thank Dustin Fonder, Joseph Arancio from High Point, and Mamadi Nippon as well. I'm Dean Linky saying thank you so much for watching the Men's College Soccer Review right here on NSCAA TV, where we remind you the message is learn, participate, belong.